Hey guys, Andy here. Now, over the last, I don't know, five or six years, I've done literally hundreds of app reviews, but today feels like uh, quite a big day for me because this is the first time I've been able to review my own app. I wrote an app. Um, I only started programming, well, I programmed like 20 odd years back in basic, but I only started learning sort of Java and Android within sort of the last two, three months, almost two and a half months. Um, so it's not a particularly sexy app, but um, it's been quite interesting for, much for me to make, and I think it's quite useful. So if you search in the Google Play Store for Kitchen Multi-Timer, you have to scroll down through God knows how many of them there are, but then you'll find my one by AAUK. And we see it here on the phone. I'm going to go ahead and open it. Now... I put some sort of test items in. I'm going to show you first of all how we can delete them away by holding down on the items and selecting delete. Uh, it's easy enough to add an item. Tap the add in the corner, give it a name, set a, an amount of time, and add the item. Pizza for 11 minutes. Now you could just start the timer like that and off you go. Um, but let's say you need to add something else garlic bread and maybe that's only going to be eight minutes 20 that's fine there we go when you press start it says put the pizza in oh that's interesting I need to get rid of that null off the end there but I can fix that um, and you'll see the pizza is ticking down the garlic bread will start ticking when the main timer gets down to it uh, pressing the start button again just resets it now the clever thing, hopefully, is how you can kind of stack um, timers or link them. So I'm not going to use actual product names or anything. I'm just going to call this one three. And I'm going to bring it right down to, let's, oops, let's put it on 30, 20 seconds is fine. So three goes in. Now, I actually used these to help myself when I was working out exactly how it was going to work. So there's item three. That's effectively going to, that's going to be the last thing we're going to cook. Now I'm actually going to add item one next, but I'm going to say I want to cook it before item three. Add. So one for twenty seconds before three. I should, I should get rid of that zero. If it's a zero, I should get rid of it. I'll do that. Don't worry. Um, so we've now got item one before item three so what about item two I hear you cry here's item two so let's add two uh, now I want it before three so I'm going to tap before three now I've got two options you see the box there that says parallel serial parallel so if I select parallel it's basically going to put them in like that, and one and two will run at the same time. If I select serial, it's going to bump one, well, forward technically, I suppose, earlier, and put two in. So let's do that. There you go. So one, 20 seconds before two, two, 20 before three. And again, let's just show you. I'll start the time. It says put one in. And then that will tick down and get to two. And then one will it'll say take one out. Well, I suppose we can wait. We can afford to wait 10 seconds. Get three ready, it says. It gives you a 30 second warning of uh, of whatever's coming up. Now, <laughs> unfortunately, when it puts up two alarms, it only cancels one when you press silence. Something I need to work on. It is still in beta at this point, I would say. So there's still a few small bugs in it, but generally it's functional. Now, you might have noticed I tapped on timer two and it paused it, and it will pause at the bottom and pause at the top. When I unpause it, it will carry on again, and we're going to get the siren again, unfortunately. When it gets down. Now, I said that I can pause individually item three. So it's going to give us the siren. <laughs> And it doesn't start two until I unpause it again. Oh, sorry, three. Silence. And then that'll do it. So this time I'm going to demonstrate uh, parallel. 
when we add two. So I'm gonna, oh no, yeah, we want parallel before three, add. So one and two, both going before three, all of them on 10 second timers. So now, just to visualize it, we're doing that. So I'll start them up. You see both one and two ticking down, but if I pause one, one and anything that's following it is now paused. Two is finished and they're still waiting. I then unpause four, uh, one with four seconds and it carries on. I need to fix that bug. And then three is coming out. If I'm gonna pause, I'm gonna pause three before that siren goes off. Just gonna show you one last uh, example quickly. So I've got minced meat for five minutes, garlic bread for eight. I'm gonna add mince meat and sauce whoopsie so that's kind of when you add you have to I have to cook the meat for five minutes add the sauce from make a spaghetti bolognese so that's going to go after mince meat five minutes before the mince meat and sauce and then we're going to add finally the pasta now the pasta is about 11 minutes but also, I want kind of a minute or two minutes to be able to or prepare, to be able to sort of put the butter, I put butter in and kind of melt the butter into it and then get it on the plate. So I'm gonna put this bit down here, cushion. Let's go for around one, one and a half minutes. So that effectively means this timer is 12 and a half minutes. Um, you can do that to any of them. I didn't really show you, but you can edit. So there's a the garlic bread. Let's put, actually I want that to come out and cool for, for two minutes. When you start, my total time will look 12 and a half minutes. And again, if you're not ready to put some in, you can pause it. Um, like so. Now, I know it seems very simple, but actually that's taking me like, I mean, you probably wouldn't believe how many hours it's taken to write that. Uh, and I'm quite pleased with it. So it's if you want to support me in my app development and well, my channel generally, then please go to the Play Store and uh, buy the app for 99p. Um, maybe maybe you've built up some rewards money and you don't mind sending a little bit my way. It is still beta. There are still things that I'm working on, but to give me some feedback in the comments of this video or on the Play Store, of course. Um, and I'll do what I can uh, to try and fix or improve the app. Um, but that's all for now. Hopefully, it's kind of a useful app. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. But for now, my name's Andy. Catch you all again soon.